Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Previously, we unboxed the SenseCap Meshtastic Card Tracker T1000E. It's about the size of a credit card, but it's six millimeters thick. It's got GPS, it's got sensors. It's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the magnetic cable for it. It's both a charger and a USB connection, so you can flash it via USB, which is very handy. I want to check out how to turn it off and on. Right now it's on. you got to hold the button. It seems like 20 to 30 seconds and you'll hear it chime. So let's wait it out here. There you go. Now we're going to turn it back on. Got to wait because it was shutting down. There we go. And it's back on again. So let's go ahead and connect via serial. New device. There it is, COM19. All right. You know I like to rename my nodes so that people on the network know whose node it is. So that's probably the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to call it Shotoku T1000. There we go. Now saving that usually causes it to reboot. So I'm going to let it reboot and then we're going to reconnect. All right, connect, serial. Here we go again. Okay, we see the rename came through. I'm going to check the position settings and make sure GPS mode is enabled. I'm not going to change anything else in here, mind you. This was already set in the firmware for the Seed Studio Meshtastic Card Tracker T1000. So we go into LoRa, set the region. In Tucson, our channel utilization is pretty low still, so we use a 7 hop count. Don't really need to change anything else here. Let's go ahead and save that. There, we see Config Laura saved. So we're waiting for the reboot. And we'll be right back. Yeah, that never changed there, the, the percentage of the battery and the voltage. And let's let that firmware version 2.4.0, make a note of that. At first I said, well, let's flash it to the latest, and I'm like, nah, just leave it just the way it is. Okay, so we see the nodes are coming in. A lot of them have come in this time. And you see my window unit, 20A8, goes by. I like that North Korea poop balloon. <laughs> we have some fun folks on our mesh. <laughs> Let's check the map. Okay, we're starting to see some folks on the mesh map here. All right. Let's, I want to send a DM to 20A8. There it is. So under nodes, I'm picking Shotoku 20A8. We'll send a DM. Hello, 20A8. Now you just see the ellipsis in that circle. You want a check mark. And the check mark, sadly, never comes. You have to wait a long time to see it fail, but it will fail. Instead, let's just go tech, check 20A8. Waiting, waiting. Yeah, and it's really, literally, it's just in the other room. It should go through. Yeah, you see here, that cell phone's connected to 20A8 via Bluetooth, and there's no DM from uh, the T1000. That's just the main channel. I'll try sending a test message to the main channel. And same thing. Sadly, it's just not coming through for me. 
Yeah, I really got kind of at a loss. I'm going to look, make sure, yeah, all those settings are correct. That's what we needed. So I'm going to go ahead and flash the firmware. That's the only idea I can come up with at this point. Watch this carefully, though. Watch the firmware list when it comes up. Okay, Seed Card Tractor T1000E. Yeah, that 2.4.0 is not on the list, so it must have been a bad firmware. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get the 2.5.0. Continue. Enter DFU mode. COM19. And this is going to open the device up for flashing. So we see the Windows Explorer window come up. Now all we have to do is download that UF2. Oh, I already did. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, show it in folder. There we go. There's that firmware. Now we just need to get this T1000E window over here. We're going to drag that firmware across, drop it on the T1000E. I was surprised how long this takes. It actually takes quite a while. Like, like about a minute or so. You're not just copying a file, though. You're actually flashing the firmware on this device. So. <laughs> and it'll do this. It'll say, oh, it got disconnected. But apparently you can ignore that. Just saying. I read, yeah, I read that you can just ignore it. Just hit skip. And off you go. All right, we'll let that reboot. We're going to get connected back up. Good. There's the devices there. Uh, unknown volts. Yeah, you see firmware is 2.5.0. Let's check. I just want to check the, make sure the LoRa configuration is still correct, and it is. Let's send a test message to the primary channel and see what happens. Yeah, under the nodes list, I don't see my window node yet. Oh, look, there's the check mark. So, hey, <laughs> memo to Jeff. Always flash the firmware. <laughs> okay, and you see on 20A8, yeah, test T1000 came through from D619. So let's reply to D619. Gotcha. Gotcha, T1000. Go ahead and send that. There's the check mark, so we're good. Yeah. Gotcha, T1000. Yeah, the node information will come through. You know, you're seeing a lot of unknown stuff here, but it, it all catches up sooner or later. So let's send a DM to 20A8. Hello, 20A8. Yeah, you see, hello, 20A8 on the window node there. So let's go back out, and we'll see the DMs. Yeah. Yeah, there's the direct message from D619. We'll go ahead and reply. Hi, D619. Check mark. So that's good. So we've got communications going. Now I wonder if the GPS is working. That's going to be the next thing I want to see. And we've got check marks all around. I'm going to request position. So the window node's requesting position of the card tracker. Yeah, my window node's kind of screwed up too. <laughs> Everything's two days old, <laughs> three days old. I, I just reflashed it after making this video. Yeah, there's D619. Yeah, it's already got nine satellites. And it's already got GPS coordinates. I'm going to have to blur those out so I don't dox myself. I was impressed. Nine satellites. And this is on my kitchen table where I don't usually get a good signal. So look for a link to the product page down below. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. And before you go watch more of my Mesh Tastic playlist or my Seed Studio playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.